For today's creature feature, we come to Salt Lake City, Utah. Haunt is on. First time in Utah. Look at those mountains out there. Wow. Here we come downtown Salt Lake. And I kid you not, the address is 666 West 800 South Salt Lake. Right there on this old concrete factory, the words haunted house, fear factory. What is my life right now? See our entire award list online at fearfactorysLC.com. There's all their awards right there. Number three in the world for BuzzFeed, USA Today, top 10 in the US. Legendary Haunt Award, Best in Industry Award, Director's Excellent Award. Most terrifying in the US, according to USA Today. I am so glad to be here. Thanks to Fear Factory for inviting us out for today's Creature Feature. We begin. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if it's your first time. I am Tampa J, your haunted house ghost host tour guide. This is like my 18th haunt of the Halloween season 2023 and counting. I'm so happy to be here at Fear Factory tonight. Thanks to Fear Factory for inviting us out for this exclusive tour. They are not open tonight, so we'll see what's going to happen. I'm sure I'll walk through the haunt a bit myself and we'll do kind of a, a lights on tour kind of thing. Actually, I don't know what to expect. They told me to be here at six. It is six o'clock and we're all here together. There's much ahead. Hey, welcome to Fear Factory. I'm Rob Dunfield, co-owner of Fear Factory. I'm here with our general manager, Spencer Terry. Hey everyone, super excited to have you. Super. Come on in, we'll show you around. Typically at night, these have really cool smoke balls coming out of them, which is a lot of fun. Oh yeah, these big we'll stacks here. We'll capture that later on, the Fear Factory is glowing. This is a pretty cool mural that we have. Um, it's been featured in a lot of different video games, but it's definitely something that really showcases who we are as a factory, and uh, definitely our spooky side. Yeah, I like it, the Reaper. So one of the things that we have, you'll get to see later on, is our buses. Um, we have three in our fleet, which is pretty great. They shuttle back and forth to our mall. Um, and then as we get inside, we'll get to show you some really fun things. One of our uh, new areas that we just launched this year for 2023, you'll actually be the first one, Jay, to see this. All right, cool. that's what I love to do. I know, it's pretty fun. Thank so, you. There's a lot to see, a lot to do. Yeah, so everyone has to sign their waiver. Um, you've got 18 flights of stairs. Ooh. And a lot, you, I mean, you're all the way up in this factory. Like, you're all the way up to the top of that. So wow. You can fall, you can be hurt, and the idea is you gotta be safe inside of an old abandoned factory. That is, yeah, that's a long way up. Wow. There's a couple people over here. Look at those guys. Ooh. Creepy. Creepy. Fear factory. Is this like a photo opportunity? Yeah, exactly. That's what people just like. That looks pictures. good. I'll be taking a couple of pictures over here. Like all the old, uh, basically recycled tools and equipment. Yeah. Yep. You'll see one of our zones inside the show is 100% recycled material and we obviously like to recycle a lot wherever we can. And it's kind of our way of going green, but also keeping it factory themed and rustic and abandoned. And real. At yeah. the end of the day, the factory is designed to be kind of a zombie apocalypse fortress where the monsters are hiding inside and the world stays out. So this is their brand new venue. It's right here. We're not going to do it right now. We're going to wait till it gets dark, but just to show you right here. Cool. We'll go check out the new lounge. This is the outside wall. Freaking sick, isn't it? I love that they just thrown all this metal, natural objects and an old factory. So is this like the the entrance right here? Exactly, so right here, customers arrive and are greeted by some of our staff that check the tickets and their waivers to make sure they've signed their life away. And then they'll head in right this way. There's two ways they can enter. You come around the corner here, and if you've pre-purchased your ticket online, you go in the have a ticket lane. If you need to go to the ticket booth to buy a ticket, go to the need a ticket. Oh, that's pretty simple, I like pretty that. Simple. Need a ticket? left 
have a ticket? Right. Yep. All right, so do I have a ticket? You've got a ticket. I've got a ticket. Yeah, before you go in right here, check this out. Wow. It's a good documentary to make sure in case they don't come out. We have pictures of them. Fear Factory. Those giant steel doors. This is the queue. And as we talked about earlier, obviously we have to tell this story of this like abandoned place, right? This has literally been like fortified. So we've designed everything to really look as sketchy as possible because it needs to look like this is the end yeah. of the world. Everyone's trying to survive here. So the old army helmets. Old army hats from like old weathered wood. Anything we can recycle to like really try and help kind of pre-log that story, we'll do. Gargoyle. Yeah, this is cool. Factory's original tagline was abandoned for a reason. No one yeah. wants it. We finally found out the reason this year. Oh, you did? The 13th year? Yep. It's the year. Got an old yeah. hearse over here. A couple of years ago, there was a big earthquake. Some things have been happening that we can't explain ever since then. What was that? <laughs> you didn't do that? This place is really weird. haunted. I mean, it's weird. All day, every something day. happened the over there. Off. That's yeah. odd. How's yeah, that? something purged over there. Wow. Ooh, look at that. That guy. Oh, is that hand sanitizer? Thank you. Okay, so we came out of the queue line, and this area is kind of like the staging area. This is. This is what we call our lobby. Um, this is essentially where our staff fully gets to greet you. Um, you're going to check for tickets, your QR. We're going to also check for your waiver, make sure everything's good to go. And from here, you're going to line up whether you're general admission or your VIP, um, which is pretty fun because you can kind of hear the party that's happening inside, um, which is a lot of fun. The tower's illuminated. Our address is at the top of the building, which is pretty great to see. Um, and one of the things that's really cool is, you know, we used to have all these ticket windows. We used to have six different ticket windows. Now we only have one to two that we ever have operating because almost everything that we've done in the last, you know, we've been open this in our 13th season. We've moved away from physical tickets and almost everything's sold online now. Everything's so online. It's better that way for customers. They can buy in advance. We sell out last night. We were just open. We sold out half of our nights in September. Um, so you buy early and you buy it quick and that way you're at least guaranteed to get to see the show. And we're in the merch store. We've come over here to show this real quick. You've got a lot of cool stuff. Tons. Yeah. I think, you know, people, a lot of times people want to either prove that they made it through the factory or they just want to have some really cool swag. So, um, you know, we've got a little bit of everything you can imagine here from patches to pins, fingers. We like to give people the finger, which is kind of fun. <laughs> um, and we really try to like also show off our team. You know, our, our actors are some of the best that we think in the world and they certainly prove that night after night. So we have a lot of our characters specifically. You'll get, maybe you'll get to meet this guy. This is Carl, he's our caretaker. We've got a couple of different, uh, different keychains, lanyards. Kind of some fun little dolls. Um, Carl this right is pretty there. cool. Yep, this is Carl. The uh, my team they surprised me and made my own little doll for me as well, which is pretty. Oh, fun. that's neat. You're wearing the jacket. Little badges there. and everything. Yeah, it's and you haven't seen my chai cup yet, but I'll drink some chai. Okay. But yeah, we do a lot of fun things. We got shot glasses every single year. We also have our very own shot glasses. These are collector editions. So Each every year? year there's a different design, which is really fun. Looks like a storm coming. We're gonna walk through the haunt. We're actually gonna check out their maintenance area before we do so. We're waiting for it to get a little darker. Just a little darker. So, this is behind the scenes. Here we go. Haunt's on. Wow, so this is your behind the scenes hallway. This is where it all goes down. Magic happens here. So we're gonna take yeah. you inside. You'll get to see some cool stuff. Okay, the workshop. This is the workshop. This is where we weld and build and construct and make all kinds of the stuff that you see in the show. On the other side of the wall, over here is more of the makeup effect shot. Okay, so this is the makeup. Like silicone, prosthetics, and foam latex, and weapons, and masks, and costuming, and all the stuff, and the sewing machines. This is an oven. This is a walk-in oven. Oh, it's a walk-in oven? For all of our foam oh, wow. latex. These are clown faces for... You make uh, your own mask. Yeah, we make our own prosthetics for our Dude. clowns and everything That's so cool. Can house. I touch that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so real. Yeah. They'll trim the edges off of these and then these become the... But they'll apply and glue on and then paint and off they go. Yeah, it's neato. Every good haunt has a workshop oh, and yeah. a makeup studio. Oh, yeah. This is nice. 
this is where the magic happens. See you all uh, got them numbered in there. Yep, 15 different stations around the room, all around the perimeter. Each one has airbrush hookups for makeup artists to hook up their hoses. They all set up their paints and their all their good stuff on the countertops. And each uh, actor, as they arrive, they come up and get in line. They check in over here at our costume closet. Oh, okay. That's this where the where costumes every are. Every single actor is assigned a costume and a mask or whatever their whole um, costume is for the night. They're all assigned and they're all stored in here. Wow. Oh, I love seeing the costume rooms. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So the different masks that are assigned to different areas. There's the clowns. There's the swamps. The each different area is labeled and tagged. And yeah, it's very organized for in here. a different actor. Look at these masks. Oh yeah, latex. Then they'll sit down and wait for the makeup artist to call them into a chair. Once they're called into one of the 15 chairs, they sit still and and get ready to go. Get ready for the haunt. Yeah. It's just creepy just to be in here. Don't shut, whatever you do, just don't shut the door. <laughs> air, so those are all animatronics. Those are, oh, those are moving by air, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that is creepy. I wonder how many like complaints you get or calls. We used to get a lot. Yeah. yeah. People used to. There was a lot of things. People, you know, we used to have like mannequins that were hanging, and unfortunately, we made it. Well, we not fortunately, we made a decision to get rid of them because these are way cooler anyway, and they're more active. Yeah. And that's kind of the fun part. So. There's someone up there. Nine one one. Yeah. yeah. yeah oh a wow. A majority of the haunt is actually. From my understanding, some of it is underneath us, like basement stuff. Look at the graphic on the tower. So at some point, I'm sure we're gonna be in that tower. All right, so what are we doing here? VIP and general admission. This is it, this is you choose your fate. Okay. You die slowly or die quickly, what you do you want? Jay, you're a VIP, so you go this way. I'm going to the VIP? Oh, there, yeah. There's only a five minute wait time, so. That's right. All right. Hello there. Hi, okay. We begin. Oh, this looks awesome. Whoa, look at that. So this is our graveyard. This is where- This is the graveyard. We'll hold a good four or 5,000 people every night to have fun and they get to come for the party. Oh. The stage that we do. So it's your midway. We do stage events. Bands, we have a full DJ space as well. So we have DJs that we bring in for specific events. It's a, a cool stage. And if you look up onto the side of the building there, we project onto there and you'll be able to watch. Um, oh, it's a projection show. house. There's a little hole right there. Going on. Yeah. Right there. Cool. So I'll be back in here at night so you can get the full effect to see what it's like all lit up. Rolling in the VIP entrance. Which all right. Oh, that. The VIPs get in here to see this area. So That's a cool That's photo op. Look that. at that guy. Holy cow. And this guy. There, there's something behind you. Yeah. What was that? Let me help you there. <laughs> uh, it's not coming out, sorry. Yeah. Photo one, okay. So we have two different photo bays. Everybody gets their photo for free. Um, you can buy and print it if you want, but everyone gets a digital. There's two different ones. We have live characters. We like to do some fun stuff, so this is our live one. All right, be live characters Rob. out there. Get your photo. Rob's got it. And then around the corner, we always we try and theme as much as we can. Oh, this is cool. Oh. We designed this to look just like a million bucks, and then we purposely are letting it just kind of erode just and deteriorate it, as yeah. if it looked like it was abandoned. Let Mother Nature take its toll on it. And oh, then this wow. year we did some really fun photos. So if you know Kevin Alvey from Glor Glor, this is one of their great props. And so we have groups are just loving this right now. I it's love just, that. Everything's lit up, the skull lights up, and it's just a really cool photo op. <laughs> Line it, it all right up. Yeah, it's starting to pop up there. Yep. Oh yeah, get all that in there. Pretty cool. All of that in there. So we're still meandering through the actual queue right. as we're doing all this. This is the fun part. So similar to a roller coaster, 
These are the chutes. So the chutes are pretty cool. Obviously designed as a line. Um, the idea is same thing. Like we really want people to get in together. They're gonna be in different groups, different lines as well, because that allows us to really pack them in. We wanna be able to have, I mean, everyone needs to have a really good experience, so we limit these to about eight size, and that way they can have a little bit more fun. Right before they head inside, uh, we always review their rules. We make sure everything's good to go. They have limited expectations that we request of them, which is a pretty cool list. Oh, right here. Yep. They've already heard it three different times by our staff, but there's one more time where they actually do a visible audio yes. Um, and nod their head yes, and that pretty much tells us, all right, you're good to go, you've signed your waiver, you know the expectations, buckle in, you got 15 minutes, 18 floors of fun. 18 floors, oh my gosh. So, you ready to do this? Yeah, I just need a, I need some chai. Right, <laughs> we'll take care of that later, <laughs> cheers. I love we'll that that's that. a thing, that's it's, awesome. It's pretty fun. And you'll see this throughout when you walk through the show, so if you come over, you can see this doorway that's all the way straight. Oh yeah, that's. That's so creepy. part of our storyline this year, Rob was saying this earlier, in 2020 during COVID, there was this massive earthquake that happened in Utah. Oh. Unprecedented earthquakes don't happen here. And uh, it rocked us all, but more importantly is it rocked our tower. And the tower had a crack in it. We later saw that that crack became a wall and we realized that there was something behind that space. And so you'll get to now see what we found. There was this massive beating heart that was in there. And just crazy stuff and that ultimately Beating the factory heart. is coming alive and there's weird stuff happening and like that's why we have a we have a caretaker that now helps us with the property is a little bit strange but there's a lot that it takes to really kind of keep this property and keep this factory from consuming more things so a caretaker. That's what people do they come here to face their fears and hopefully they don't they don't get lost inside I love it haunts yeah. on Love it. Let me let check me, in right here. Let me okay, do a this quick. Is check in. We're about to start the this, haunt. This is your last check in. This is where you agree to following all the rules. Yes. Look at the camera above yes. my head and nod yes. Oh, there's a camera right there. Okay. And come right this way. I'll give it a thumbs up. <laughs> thumbs. Haunts on. Welcome to your first phobia, being buried alive. Oh my gosh. Good luck down there. All right, so I, I just go down there? Yep, yep. Go on down. We're going to head down the okay. stairs. Hold on to the hand railing. All right. We're heading down into the Oh, my gosh. You hear stuff dripping. I'm going to look up here. You mind if I show a little light? No. Yeah, here, I got you, too. Oh, wow. This is above our heads. Wow, look at the detail up here. Okay. Here we are. Dude. Yeah, you gotta watch your step in here. Yeah, you'll notice the coffins and bodies hanging from the walls and sticking out of the ground everywhere. <clears throat> yeah. Nice to meet you. I, I, ah, I'm trying to still, uh, you know, get over that. Just incredibly, oh. that was the scare of the year right there. Well, thank you very nice much. Nice to meet you, Care Now Jager. this is, of course, so as we say, each one of our areas represents a different phobia, you know? But each area has sort of a boss monster, a boogeyman associated with it. And that guy right there, here, he represents the fear of being buried alive, and he tries to pull you into the wall with him. <laughs> it worked. Oh, wow. wow. So the other great thing, in addition to those doors that I believe they mentioned in between each area, I'll check in on you. In between every little, every little zone, I'll give you a hint as to what's to come okay. next. You'll hear me call you on a PA system. And if you walk down this way, you'll hear that. Good evening. I'm Carl. Carl. So I'll just be checking in with you periodically every time you go somewhere new. Dude, I love it. 
All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Carl. Carl and I'll, I mean, that's Carl. right. Don't oh. worry. I'll take great care of him. He'll still have all his fingers and toes by the end of the night. I promise. What a surprise, guys! What a surprise! I'll show you some of the tricks and tools we use to scare people. So a lot of our spots. This is backstage here. If you look, look at this. Okay, backstage. This is where one of our monsters would hide, and this is a haunted house classic. Little oh, John door. That's right. And it just goes. And resets, very simple, easy to get a scare, and then you can follow up right here right. with the yeah. other one. So, oh boy, what's all that? Oh, no, rats everywhere. I need to put out some traps, I guess. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, I don't know about this guy. Should we be following him? I don't, I don't know. Whoa! 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 Yeah, I'm okay. Psychological scarring's no big deal. It's the physical ones that you really gotta watch out for. <laughs> mommy? Oh, your mommy can't help you here. <laughs> You're all alone with just me. But don't worry, like I said, I'm on your side. I'm your friend. I'll make sure you get okay. through here, no problem. Thanks, Carl. Now, of course, as with any haunted house, the actors are the lifeblood of the thing. All of our monsters, the show just isn't the same without them. So, as we're going through here, keep in mind that Every, uh, every, you can't, we have a lot of people in here. <laughs> we have a lot of monsters. I think we have up to a hundred actors every night, depending on the night. A hundred actors? Wow, yeah, that's so, a lot of scare actors. That's right, so you see a lot more monsters than just what you're seeing in this video, you know? Speaking of monsters, Sorry. here's the real old one. Whoa! Oh, hi, old girl. This is Rex. We oh, love a T-Rex. You got a yeah. T-Rex. I mean, they're all buried alive too, right? Yeah. Under mountains of lava back in prehistoric days. But sure, why not? <laughs> oh, this is sick. Wow. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, so imagine all the scare actors down here. Yeah, like here, for instance, you just got hit by that thing. And then right here, there's a spot where someone could reach through the wall. Yeah, a little scare there. It's all over the place, especially down here in this area. We've got every single one of these wall panels has something that somebody could. Oh yeah, through. there's a lot of a lot of holes in here. Yeah, this is super creepy. Whoa! Oh yeah, that's another thing that happens sometimes. We just have speakers just like that that are just rigged to go off on a motion sensor. Yeah, so it's good. If we ever feel like an area is getting a little too boring, but there's no space to pack another thing in there. We dropped one of those in just to give you a nice little jump. It worked. <laughs> and here we see our next door as we enter into area number two. Area number two. This is our basement we're about to go oh, into. Wow. I know we're going upstairs. Nice little bridge. That's right. Whoa, Careful, it's, whoa, a little, whoa. it's a little rickety. Like tip of a dew bridge. Will you survive, huh? You guys might make it out of here, but we're just getting started. I'm sending you to the basement. <laughs> now you follow me up right this way. We survived. Just ignore my janitor closet here. I haven't cleaned up in a little while. <laughs> I've been on break for uh, oh, a few hundred years. <laughs> Alright, this is sick. Look at all this going on now. Oh wow, there's a lot of that's where I dispose of all the noxious chemicals around here and all of our trespassers and rule breakers and all those other unsavory types. We just dump them right in there and let them melt down into sludge. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. That's so cool. Oh yeah, there's a body down there. Oh. this twice more as we keep walking through. The path intersects through it again. Okay, we're gonna walk through here again. Right, well, where are we right now? Oh wow, look at that. Yeah, just a little piece of art I made. <laughs> oh, you made that, Carl? Yeah, I broke a mirror. 
mirror and I didn't want bad luck, so I got creative with it, you know? You did good work. Thank you. Hopefully <laughs> this is closed. There oh, we go. Close Where's that. There? Danger, keep out. Now we won't keep out for very long. We're going up there pretty soon. But okay, looks like we're going as, back downstairs. As I said over the speaker, let's go down to the basement. Down to the basement. Wow. Whoa, look up there. Now we're going down steps. Okay, this is awesome. Wow, whoa. Oh my gosh. That's freaky. Giant cage. Oh, Carl. Oh. Oh, air blast! See, I did, but nothing. I, I didn't pack any nails into it or anything. Oh, I could have yeah, blown your legs you. off if I wanted to. Thank you. I told you. You can trust me. I promise. <laughs> oh man, he got me so good. Oh wow! It's an old grinder. Yeah. What do you do with a rock crusher that you would use to make cement, except you know, crush people with it? <laughs> oh. That's gross, don't yeah. look. Some of my co-workers never clock out. Our most famous ghost is a gentleman named George who, uh, you had to oil those coal crushers. It's right at the beginning of the catacombs, right where that big puppet popped out at the start. Oh, poor George. The year, you said? Yeah. Right there, there used to be a big coal crusher that the guy, you, you would climb up on a ladder and reach into, and you'd have to oil the gears. The problem was, if you had any loose clothing, get caught, pull your arm into the gears, off goes your arm, and you bleed to death. Ah, sounds that's good. That's what happened to poor George. <laughs> oh, poor George. This is awesome. Oh, you did it! <laughs> oh, man. Now, here it is. Our big attraction this year. We said the factory's alive and we weren't kidding. It breathes and it's got a heartbeat. Oh my gosh.
three or four or five times. Now that's value. Now that's fear. All right, I'm going up. We're starting to make our way up to the tower. This is zone number three, and of course, zone number three. the basement was the fear of darkness. The tower is the fear of heights. Fear of heights. <laughs> See, like I said, I check in with you, everybody, as they're going through the show. Just uh, make sure you're comfortable in here, you know? <laughs> that way. Okay. Whoa, okay. You can kind of see, the, you can see the, the tower out there. That's where we're going. <laughs> now watch your head here. Okay. And uh, also Whoa. your skin, you might end up getting some of it corroded. Oh my gosh, there's water right there. Oh, it's really tight in here. You gotta duck down. Watch your head. Just crawl through there. Yeah, this is cool. Oh yeah. We walked down there earlier. Oh wow. The second time you see that area. With yeah, there's your armor. Look at it, lost it down there. Now, we're not that high off the ground yet. We will be soon, but just to prime. Whoa! Oh my god! You gotta be careful in here. Woo! Oh, drop floor. The infrastructure is a little rickety. I mean, it is a factory that was built in the early 1800s, so you always got to be careful. <laughs> Whoa, look at that head. Much of head down there. Creepy. A little security area. Now, this is where another one of our boogeymen hangs out. Boogeyman number three, Mr. Hess. We call him the creep because, well, He's pretty creepy. He watches everybody on these monitors. He sees you. Those are live feed from all around the haunt right there. Okay, there's so a lot of cameras. Sees you, and you'll see other people walking through as you pass by. Nice. Yeah, he's he's a rough customer, Mr. Hess. I don't know. He's got I'm a pretty sick guy, don't get me wrong, but he's on another level. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, watch out, electric boss. Oh, whoa, that was sick. That hit, something hit me in the arm. That was cool. Yeah, just a little bit of per air. Percussion blast, air blast. Whoa. And don't touch any of these exposed wires. Do me a favor. Okay, yeah. I won't. Whoa. Oh, whoa. I guess we're going up, huh? That's right. Time to climb. <laughs> oh, boy. We begin the tower. Now just make sure to hold on tight to the handrails and we'll have no trouble. All right, here we go. Climbs on. So what do you do when your favorite thing to do hurt people with is electricity? You build your own electric chair, of course. Oh. So yeah, the whole floor shook as he was being shocked when they walked by. They tripped the sensor. <laughs> yeah. Now up in here, we have our butcher shop. Butcher shop. Now this is something that a lot of haunts will do. That and there's different names for it. Some people call it a circle of power or a ring of power or other names like that. But the customers are actually supposed to go this way and the closer to me. But this door opens, so what can happen is if you're an actor, you see customers going by, you can open the door, chase after them, 
all the way down the hall, and then you're right in position to get the next group. But you've been chasing that scare whole around. Time. Yeah, love it. Yeah. Also, it, it stinks in here. Oh yeah, so that's the thing we do a lot around here. We want to hit every single sense that the human body has. So, Billy like Rocky in a room, Balboa. In a, yeah. yeah. There we go. But in a room full of rotten meat, we want you to smell rotten meat. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let your meat love. Whoa. You can kind of see how high up you're getting. Now. Oh my gosh. We're not even at the top yet. There's those animatronics. That is so creepy. Wow. Working here by the end of the season, your legs are in real good shape. <laughs> wow, 18 flights of stairs. Never seen anything like this. this I'm having a really good time. Right at the very top now. I mean, not the very top. The tower does still the tower go goes up. up a little bit. Quite high. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. But the catwalk is right here, and that's where we're headed next. The catwalk? The catwalk. <laughs> so, now, this catwalk is original to the factory. Uh, Whoa, there dead was body. a fatality on it as well. <laughs> there was Whoa. a gentleman. Hi. Not this guy, we killed him. <laughs> you got him, yeah. But someone actually died on it? Oh yeah. So I'll show you. So this is our sky bridge. Oh my and gosh. Never died on this section. Alright, so if you're afraid of heights, you cannot do this. Oh my gosh. Look at that. The air coming up in. Wow. It, whoa. It's kind of rickety. Whoa, it's like moving. Oh my gosh. It's very stable, I promise. Oh. This one won't drop like that. <laughs> I hope not. But as I said, Salt Lake City. This catwalk is original, but we added this. It did not have any sort of cage, not even a handrail around it when it was originally part of the factory. Oh wow, no safeguard. That's right. So a gentleman, I think his name was Charles, was up here. And right below, down below where we have part of the haunted house now, there were big vats of boiling chemicals that was used in the production of Portland cement. All the fumes come up, make the catwalk all slippery. So slippery catwalk plus no handrails plus a tired employee equals Oh, all the way down into one of those vats of boiling chemicals where he was scalded to death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, and now he gets to hang around here for all eternity. Oh boy. <laughs> I can't believe we just walked across that. But wow. Yep, I know a lot of people that cannot do that. Oh you wow. See, oh wow. We're still, you can still see down. Oh, well, we're about to go down there in a minute. We're going down there? That's, oh my gosh. That's part of our, our oh yeah. Look at that. see our big devil right there. Holy cow. That's several stories down. Oh, yes. Wow. Talk about fear. Yeah. Right here. Yeah, this is, if you If are, you're scared of heights, you cannot do this. Yeah, I would not recommend it. At the very least, cover your eyes and just feel along the walls. Turn the light off. That's at least three or four stories down. And we'll be heading down into our next fear. So fear of heights is wrapping up. Fear of heights. Okay, so we're going down, and the next door is the fear of hospitals, which, I mean, I, I'm right there with you. So, okay. You know, doctor, you're gonna hate this. Oh boy. Hold on. <laughs> I turned my light off, so this is how you will actually walk through the haunt. This is how dark it is. Yeah. Down all these stairs. Hold on to the rail. Whoa! That's cool. Animatronic zombie on a gurney above the door number four. Sometimes your patients are a little bit restless, so you have uh, to restrain ha, ha. them. You know, that's all that is. Oh, okay. A little bit of electroshock therapy, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Hey, well, if you're feeling out of breath, when you enter this next fear, ask the surgeon if he's got time for a quick lung transplant. <laughs> Be quiet, me. <laughs> As I said, 
Dude's head got a little x ray. Yeah, Dr. Beach, our surgeon, Dr. Beach, little, uh, experimental with the surgical techniques. Oh my gosh, this poor guy just uh, was on. I guess it was one of his bad days, he didn't make it through the procedure. Wow, this is so good. Something bad, yep. Yeah. Whoa! 
What was that? Smell in the butcher shop earlier, if you smell that. Nice smell of sulfur. Oh yeah, oh my God. That's horrible. Oh. Oh! They're spraying sulfur in here. Oh my gosh, whoa. Everywhere you look. That's right. Every, degree detail. The detail's amazing. Look. Whoa. Okay. Furthering in. Something around the Whoa! Oh my gosh! How did you do that? You were right behind me. That's right. Man, I've never been so scared. There he is again! Oh, I can be anywhere I want to be, you know? <laughs> yeah, oh to... my gosh, Let's look at this hallway. A... Just take a step in there and see All what right. happens. Alright, I'm gonna dip my light a little bit. Okay, well, let's see what happens. Alright, I'm gonna go here. Everyone stay. Every... Whoa! Dude! Oh my gosh! Dude, it's all moving. Oh, this is messing with me. Holy cow. Whoa. That was a cool effect. I've never seen anything like that before. Now it's going back. Oh, let's see. It can do all kinds of things. It can, it can crush all the way down like that. It can shift all Oh, it's like the, the trash right. compactor from it Star Wars. All the way to the left. Oh, shut down all the trash compactors at the Fear Factory. Oh, 3 po 3 po that was really cool. I've never seen anything like that. That is fast. Thought I heard something. He probably did. <laughs> Whoa. It doesn't end. Hello. Whoa. <laughs> ah, that's got me. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, Hellraiser. The little devil guy right there. Creepy baby. Whoa, picture's moving. She's moving. A lot of animations in here too. This is so good. This is so dang good. Wow. Oh, coffin, coffin. Holy cow. Okay. Nice. Body's moving. Oh, the floor is kind of not stable either. Whoa. Animatronic. Woo! And we're still in hell. Not for too much longer. Right down that hallway, he'll be out. Okay. We got a little bit to go. Oh, he said he'll meet us up ahead. I don't like the sound of that. Might be much ahead. Whoa, whoa, look at that. Whoa. Well, I've got you guys some front row seats to the Ringmaster's big top show. Enjoy the popcorn. Okay, here we go. Whoa. I'm fresh out of popcorn, but I do have a pair of these for you. Oh, thank you. Psycho Vision 3D. All right. Looks like you see the world just like a clown does. <laughs> just like a clown. I hate clowns! No! You're gonna hate this, because we've got some real nasty oh, ones in no. here. Oh, no. They're not even human. <laughs> They're oh. just sort of monster things that aren't spit out. Oh, that God. look like clowns. <laughs> oh, okay, you won't get the effect. But wow, the floor is like coming up and itching my eyes right now. This is crazy. This is trippy. This is cool. All right, here we go. I like it. Oh yeah, everything's popping out in the paint. Just imagine all the clouds. Whoa, air blast. Woo. Love it. Yeah. Whoa. I'm just so glad you're not a clown. Oh, well, I got a smile for it, though. Yeah, 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 you kind of, no, 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 uh, 
Oh, no offense. You you, you kind of look like one, but you're, you're... Oh, I take no offense to that at yeah. all. I love these guys. They know how to party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they do. <laughs> Thank you. You're a gentleman. Of course. Wow. Okay. Nice little labyrinth here. A lot of old posters on the wall. Cool. Cool. What's worse than a clown? A clown that's also a spider. <laughs> oh no, spider clowns? Yeah! That's why we no have this way. whole spider nest in here is for Arachnid, Arachnid, who's one of our wonderful freaks at our side show. Okay. Half clown, half spider. Really nice dude once you get to know him. <laughs> half clown, half spider. There's a Fiji mermaid. All right. Whoa, look at that. Whoa! <laughs> You got me, clown. Very trippy. All right, which way do I go? I think I think that I think I go this way. It's making our way through. How'd you get over there? Oh my gosh! I told you I can be anywhere I want. It's easy when you're dead. You'll figure it out one day. Oh, I got something to look forward to. Now, like I said, this I think this might be my favorite zone to just run around and scare people in because there's spots everywhere. Oh, like, yeah. Here? Back there. You got one here. You got one here. That's a drop panel. You got one here. And a lot of these all interconnect. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's all tense, really. Whoa, look at that. That's a cool animation. Whoa. Is that thing real? Looks real. Right through here. Whoa, it's just a long, this is, all right, this is someone's fear right here. Just a long tunnel of a sheet. Like claustrophobic, especially with you in it. Well, I do take up a lot of space. I'm a pretty big guy. <laughs> all right. Woo, oh wow, this is super cool in here. Wow, there's a forklift. Of course there's a forklift in here. Dang! Still works. Still works? Look at this! Oh, wow! Oh, this is fun. This is a mad fun house. I love now, this. you see those, like, flashing cubes up there? Yeah, those cubes? That's actually, I don't know, I think somebody mentioned this already, but we don't buy our fog in tiny little buckets because we use so much of it. Those are just ones that we emptied out. <laughs> 250 gallons of fog? Uh-huh. Most most haunts do like a 30 or a 50 gallon barrel, so. Oh no, no, because you'll see, we're about to get to the parts that have a lot oh, of Oh, okay, yeah. We go through a lot of fog. I love it. And every single one of our hazers and fog machines is hooked up to a seven gallon reservoir. Wow. That we refill periodically, because just having a one gallon reservoir wouldn't even last us the night. That makes sense, <laughs> wow. Okay, let's see the fog. Take me to the fog. Whoa. Look at this. You know what we do to sad clouds around here. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. He's wearing Skechers. Wow. Oh, no. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, my gosh. This is super cool right here. This whole thing. I've never seen anything like this. Oh, yeah, we wow. Are, we do yeah. Whoa. Look at this. I took off my glasses just so I could see. There's a clown in the barrel. Oh, boy. And there's a monkey out of the barrel. Of course, every clown room has that one. Whoa, no. <laughs> oh, man. You stay right there. You look great, sir. I'm, don't, if you close your eyes, it's not bad. Uh, whoa. Now the trick with these is a lot of haunts put too much light in these. No light. Yeah, the darker it is, the better, because all these spots on the fabric actually oh. glow in the dark. And you can see that when your light goes out, you can see the spots a lot more clearly. It makes a lot more disorienting. Yeah, that's a lot better. Have the light on. And of course, you gotta have it. I need to get out of here. I'm about to fall over. Oh. <laughs> Three. D glasses. Oh, okay. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you.
Okay, door number seven. Fresh air. Just ignore the smell of two stroke exhaust on the breeze. I'm sure it's got nothing to do with the chainsaw wielding lunatics stalking you. <laughs> now there are no chainsaws in here right now. I oh promise. man, darn. But this is where you would normally find them. So, that's the great thing is we're not even done with the show yet. A lot of people, they see a chainsaw, they think, oh, it's over. And then they go right back into another building. <laughs> oh no. This is creepy, these strobe lights. I'm gonna turn the light on just a second so you can see. You can't really see because of the chain link. So the lights, actually, actually, yeah, it's better to sh shut it off. Wow. Yeah, that's the nice thing about the chain link fences is for most of the time you're in this area, the chainsaw guy is actually behind a fence, but you can't really tell. Right. And then there is a little surprise at the end where once you finally figure out, okay, I'm safe, they can't get to me, then a door kicks open and our chainsaw guy comes out. And of course, our chainsaw guy, we call him the mutilator. <laughs> and he, uh, he represents the fear or phobia of being hunted because oh. that's what he does best. He's a hunter. <laughs> sounds like uh, sounds like a good gentleman for sure. Oh boy. You get a nice, cool night with no wind. Yeah. Like right now we've got a bit of a breeze. A lot of the fog is getting blown out. But if you get a perfectly cool night with no yeah. wind at all, it just settles right in here. You can't see an inch in front of your face. Right now, it's very hard to see. I can only imagine. This is so spooky. I'm so disoriented right now. Just follow the sound of my wonderful voice. Okay. Wow. The, the flashing, it's starting to get to me. Like, I'm really disoriented. Oh, I'll get you out of here quick. Oh, I love imagine. it. I'm if not you complaining. Don't you're being chased with a chainsaw, and then all of a sudden, that gate flies open and he comes out at you. Oh. He chases you all the way down. Ah, the way that's what I'd be doing. <laughs> Whoa, look over here. Yeah, the mutilator's got a thing for mannequins. It's I a little see weird. That. I don't know. Yep, I see it. I don't I don't really talk to the guy much. He's kind of the uh, strong silent type. Always the strong silent kind of type. Always the strong I don't silent like type. Him very much. Don't tell him <laughs> I said that, otherwise I'm probably gonna lose a limb. You're about to see right in here why we go through so much fog every night. Door number eight. If you're afraid of the water, you're not gonna like where you're headed next. The old hag and her swamp creatures are waiting to pull you under the surface till your breath runs out. <laughs> Alright, who's afraid of the water? Whoa, fog. Oh my gosh, laser swamp. I saw something. Now, I won't claim that this is the biggest laser swamp in the world, but I will say I've been to a lot of other haunted houses, and I've never seen a bigger one. It's a big laser swamp, okay. This takes up the entirety of one of our silos. All right. And we have three very big silos. <laughs> All right, let's see if this is the longest I've ever been through. I feel like it's going to be already. Oh, here, let me see if I can wake this guy up. I can't see anything. You can't see anything below your waist. Come on, buddy. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, alligator. Dude, that was so good. Oh, I, I love my swamp critters. I totally didn't see it. I thought that was like a handrail or something. <laughs> oh, man. So I'm does everybody else. That's the beauty <laughs> of it. Oh, man, it's still going. Whoa! Air blast. Yeah. We got gators that big in Florida. I bet. <laughs> oh, oh wow, it's still going. Okay, yeah. I think you're only about a third of the way through. A third of the way, oh! Okay, yeah, officially at this point, this is the longest one I've ever been through. So imagine like scare actors. You cannot see below your waist. And here's one of the great tricks we like to use. It's something I call a reverse jump scare. So what you do, is you do a little something to let somebody see you, very obviously, and then you disappear. And then they're wondering where you went and you can really easily scare them again later. Gotcha. So for this spot, we have this curve. Whoa. Whoa, where'd he go? Where'd he go? And then I can come Whoa. up wherever I feel like it. I love it. We're still going. I thought that, wow. Whoa. That's good. Stay there. Stay there. 
I'm sure he's stuck in the mud now. Yeah. That was a pretty big jump for him. Wow, okay, it's a lot of fog. We're going into like a blue fog. I can't see anything. Man, this is creepy. Oh. <laughs> All right, gotta check my britches. Oh, Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Carl! Oh, I want out of here! I need out of here! Oh my gosh! Oh, this is awesome. Whoa, where'd he go? Oh, he's right there. I'm just ready. I just walked through a wall. It's all right. <laughs> See, this is what it's like for me as a ghost. I can do this with normal walls, but yeah. for everybody else, they get a little taste of it too. Yeah, this fog is intense. Whoa. This isn't even the most intense fog room we've got in the show. Oh. You'll see. You'll know it when you get there. <laughs> it's still going. This is the end of the swamp. Okay, we're out of the swamp. Well, that's the longest swamp I've ever been through. Yeah, it's it by is, far. It is large. Final screams except the scarecrows and forest creatures. <laughs> Number nine. Scarecrows. I feel like I'm gonna That's lie. Oh! Right, <laughs> now this is our new area this year. This is new. Yes. Brand new. Brand new. Cool. It looks a little similar to an area last year but we decided to turn it from just an old cabin into an old farm and so now we have all these wonderful scarecrows everywhere. Wow cool. And this is a phobia called a potophobia. A fear of, of isolation so you're out alone in the middle of the woods where you know nobody's coming to save you. Wow. Whoa. Wow look at this set. This is crazy. We're like on a cabin. Look in there, oh, there's a jack o' lantern. Where are we? Whoa! Oh no, I'm sorry, Farmer Fred. That sucks. I'm not, he had to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here's where you start to see all the jack o' lanterns. Oh yeah, jack o' lanterns. I love jack o' lanterns. I love jack o' lanterns too. One of my favorite things. Whoa! Imagine a wolf puppet coming out here. That, that's cool. That's cool. Wow, look at that guy. This is super cool. Speaking of wolves, look at this. Whoa. Dude, that's awesome. I love the music too. They now, make... here's another cool spot. I'll go back here and demonstrate. I can't give you the full effect since I'm not a scarecrow. Okay. But going across this bridge. giving us a demonstration of what the scarecrow actor would do right there on that truck. Brilliant. Whoa, okay. Wow, I really like this room. So Cemetery. <laughs> 
<laughs> Whoa! Oh my gosh, this room is huge. Here is our boogeyman for the cemetery, death himself. You can't do much better than that, can you? <laughs> no, you can't. Wow, this room is just awesome. It's really fall, you can't turn the light on. Wow, this room is massive. I don't know if the camera is doing it justice. Yeah, this is the full height of all of our silos in here. There's no roof built down lower. That's about oh, 30 foot high. Up 30 there. feet high. Whoa. Uh, that's just the top of the whole side. Oh, wow. The actual roof goes up even higher. Super dark in here. This way. I'll show you what's going on. Whoa. See our cemetery? Yeah. And now we're gonna head into some of the crypt. Into the crypt. Whoa. You're not scary. Not. <laughs> That's so creepy. Wow. And it resets. Here right now. There's so much fog in here, it's so dark. Yeah, again, we like our fog here. We I really love it, do. I love it. it, just, it there's nothing better you can do to just immediately get that wonderful atmosphere than just filling a whole room up with haze. Yeah. Wow, what's going on over here? Oh, wow, it's a vulture. Oh. That's creepy. Our final fear here. 
the one last obstacle you have to cross is the fear of the end of the world. <laughs> Apocalypto. That's right. Okay. Here we go. Ah, oh, giant fan. Oh wow, we're in a, whoa, we're in a giant tube. This is cool. Wow. Oh! Whoa. Check this out. Oh yeah. This is gnarly. Yeah, this is a great Whoa. Oh, he's gotta get up there. Yeah, you like that spot. I absolutely do. <laughs> junkyard. Wow. Now I'll go up ahead and I'll get the uh, the warlord ready to meet you. Okay. Sure. Sounds He's good. He's man out here and he represents the fear of the end of the world. Fear of the He's end of the world? great big mutant monster. Oh. He's pretty much wiped out all of humanity by this point. <laughs> all right. Sounds good. Okay. I, I was filming so much I had to change my battery. He's gotta beat us up ahead. This is awesome. So we're in like the last part. I'm having such a good time. Carl's a great, great host. Thanks, Carl. Wherever you are. Look at this. <laughs> Fear Factory. Woo! All right, make it the Whoa! Dude. Yeah, that's great. Oh man, right on the storage container. Cool. Now this is that just me? Don't worry. Don't <laughs> worry. I got you a little bit there, but this is as I promised. You thought the laser swamp was heavy on fog? Step oh. right in. All right, let's do it. I'm curious to see how long it's going to take you to find your way out. Oh boy, here we go. Challenge accepted. Oh, I already can't see a thing. <laughs> Don't breathe. Oh, it's perfectly safe to breathe. I can breathe in here just fine, but then again, I am dead. <laughs> Dude, I can't see, I can't see anything. Just follow the light. There's a light? Whoa. Dude, everything's rumbling. Whoa. <clears throat> there is a light, okay, I, okay. It's getting brighter. Whoa, whoa. Noises. Going, going. It's getting lighter. Oh wow, this is this is free. Whoa, it's so bright. Where am I right now? Over here. Oh. Dude, is it daylight? Okay. Oh, okay. I feel something. Yay! Did we make it? You made it alive. Spencer. And Carl, right here. <laughs> Dude, freaking sick, man. Pretty awesome, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Glad incredible. You. Nothing like it. Thanks. Never done anything like that. It's a one of a kind experience, that's for sure. Thanks for coming down and oh, checking gosh. the place out. Thanks for having me. Yeah, wow. Thanks for not well, I don't look, I'm pretty friendly. I, I was tempted to yeah. bite his nose off once ah, or twice. What? That's know. not what you told me. 
Well, look, <laughs> I can't lie to my boss now, can I? I'll uh, be like cleaning okay, porta yeah, potties yeah. for a month. <laughs> Everyone's got a boss. Yep. Well, you really try and make sure that the show is like the build is unique, the actors are unique, the logistics are unique, the customer service is unique, the merchandise is unique. It's really, we really want this to be more than just a haunted house. It really is an actual yeah, no experience. It's a whole experience, the detail. You guys saw it, oh my gosh. Work to get on a plane, like I did. And of course, don't forget you got one more cool little shot. Oh, okay. Don't forget all the fun stuff that happens here, because that's what it's really all about. Don't forget, free selfie. Oh! Oh, there's, all, there's always one last scare. That was good, that was really good. <laughs> well, Glad you enjoyed the place. It was a pleasure meeting you. Pleasure meeting you, Carl. Hope to see you again. Hope to see you. Come out and see Carl. <laughs> and that guy. <laughs> All right, it's bus time. Fear Factory bus time. I think I love you, but what am I so... Oh, sorry, I just started singing Partridge Family. I don't know. <laughs> Come on in. Come on, hey Rob. Get right up there. It's gonna go for a party. All right, we're we gonna go for a ride. Let's yeah. go on. Well, this is the graffiti bus. Whoa! This is where you can come and jump on with your friends. It's a ton of fun. Ride from the mall all the way over. From the and mall back pickup the hours, end. right yep. there. Yep. This is our sign that we put out at the mall, where the station of our pickup gotcha. and drop off. Gotcha. Um, and sometimes there's monsters on the bus that ride along. Right? That is and so cool. It just makes it a little extra fun for the whole evening. You can go there and have dinner. There's a lot of restaurants we park. Oh yeah, the, park uh, at the mall, get the dinner, pass. jump on the bus, come over to the Fear Factory. Look at all this. This is amazing. Wow. This. You might wonder what all these uh, yeah, what is this? partitions. Yeah. This was a creative way that we got around uh, oh. COVID. Yeah, it <laughs> looks made cool. sections for each group that came on the bus could sit together and be separated from other groups. That's so clever. And you know what? The coloration and everything is so cool that we left you it. just kept it, yeah. <laughs> it makes sense. Yeah, it's fun. So one of the cool things for customers is they're coming all the way inside of our big midway area, our photo op. So this is something we designed clear back in 2018 or 19, I think. And it's just a fun way, A, for people to come have fun and get some cool pictures. Selfies. But it's also about marketing. So people get to show off that they were actually here. Yeah. Um, which is pretty fun. So. Yeah. People can literally come in. And, nice. You, know, you do your little headshot. Yeah, I love it. And every single one of these is designed to be something for our zone. So we've got torture, torture, got chainsaw area, Ooh. where all that haze was at. That's a good one there. So people can literally be like, oh. yeah, <laughs> that's cool. Chop a zone, that's be clever. Out. Lots of cool bats. Yeah, I like the ooh, I like the Doing giant bats. Yeah, that's cool. Kind of made to literally have some, feel like take a some cave. pictures. This yeah, we obviously been talking about the doors. Door number one. So this is kind of our new introduction for our doors this year. And, then, and this one's pretty fun. We see people doing like, oh, the hear bathroom. no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. Like some really <laughs> funny stuff in here. Just kind of always. I like that. It's cool to see mop bucket. Like. Yeah, right. And of course, yeah. there's nasties in the toilet oh, too. Oh, okay. Which is the best part. Oh so. yeah. Oh no! Always Sometimes. flush. Yeah. Always. Flush, flush twice. <laughs> Clean the sink. You pretty much take your picture first, and then you change the orientation upside down on your. Oh phone. yeah, everything's upside down. So if you were to, if you can figure out how to spin your camera here, I'll. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Uh, I think that came out all right. Hopefully, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, so the lights are off now. There's the heart. Wow. Yeah. I my mind can't comprehend that right there. What is that? And the cool part of where you're standing right now, Jay, is customers come in this direction and then they come out this direction. So even as they're coming in, this is a live show right underneath. Right you. underneath. So they, there's people screaming, you can hear actors, you can hear this beat, there's this, you probably can't hear it on the camera, but there's this massive bass that's downstairs. Yeah. And it's all kind of really foreshadowing this entire experience that you're about to have. Love it. I also drove over that. 
Yeah, you did. You drove right I over. I drove it. right over it. Had yeah. no idea. Massive. All right. Last but not least, I'm gonna get a tour of the brand new lounge, Lorid Lounge. It looks like they've got it all set up, and there's quite a few things to see in there. Drinks. All right. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Come on in. Let's party. Got drinks. Got or, drinks. Where's mine? Yours is right here. Oh, that's mine. Hey, cheers. Dude, oh, thanks. Pretty awesome Cheers, stuff. cheers. Cheers. Ding. Ding. I have my chai. Cheers. You got your chai. <laughs> so, the best part about this is, you know, in a typical haunted house, we really want to give you an immersive experience, right? So you can, you know, you, when you think about your senses, you can hear stuff, you can smell stuff. Each of our different areas have scents that I'm sure Carl told you about. Um, but the one thing, unless you're kind of a sicko, is you can't really taste a haunted house. Right. So we designed this lounge specifically. These are all non-alcohol drinks because we wanted to mocktails. really create some fun mocktails. So the electric cherry <laughs> is for the electric chair in our tower. The Midnight Wraith is a nod to our cemetery. Acid Drop is a really cool sour rim and then a sweet juice, so you kind of like the clowns. Um, you've got Patient Puke for our infirmary. Yummy. Buried Alive, which is the catacombs, that first zone you were in. And the Scarecrow, which Ooh. is the farm, which is where all those jack-o'-lanterns yeah, were. So I like it's this. a really fun experience, so come on in. The funnest this part about cool. this is not only are the, are the drinks fun and lit up, right? But they each have these little vignettes of where like, you can see the fog coming out. Oh. So this is the acid drop. So you put your camp, put it right there. There you go, and it's all lit, pretty fun. Dude, that's cool. It's pretty awesome. And the cool part, of course, is that you get to do this with all these different vignettes. So not only do we have this one, but just to your right, okay, you've got another one. So put your cup right here on this guy. Put oh, right wow. There. And this is the Buried Alive, because he's obviously buried, buried alive. Buried alive. Coffin, right? <laughs> Oh, Very that's cool. so awesome. And you got more over here. Yep. So we've got the cemetery. We've got some creepiness. You've got the infirmary. See, yeah. And of course, you can switch them up to a different drink if you want as well. It's the infirmary. So here's Okay, you, the got, all, you got all the drinks. Okay. So patient puke is That really one fun. belongs there. It's actually a blackberry mojito with mint. But of course, you know, it sounds pretty gross, but it's a lot more fun. Yeah, it looks delicious. So pretty fun. And of course... In the farm where all the jack-o'-lanterns were, you can't celebrate fall without a good chai. So we have a really fun chai with these cute little marshmallows on top. Got as your well. chai. And of course, you got. Okay, that might be my favorite. The that's, electric chair. That's adorable. Pretty awesome. <laughs> as zapping as blue as you oh, can. My fiance would really love this. Check it out, Chris. Yeah, Chris the girl. We missed you, but Chris come back the girl. next time. Yeah. So overall, it's a pretty awesome venue. Um, this is specifically an add-on venue, but people have been having a lot of fun just coming in to like take drinks, take pictures, and do some really fun stuff. And that's a, it's been pretty great. That's so. a brilliant idea. I would love to, yeah. And of course, it's an in-out. Come in, do your thing, and you're good to go. Cheers. All right, cheers. cheers. Thanks for coming, Jay. Yeah, Fear Factory. Cheers. Wow, Rob, Spencer. Oh wow, I'll tell you what, it's good to hit the chai after you do all like the sweet and sour. Very smooth and reminds me of fall, like you said. Really delicious, I tried every single one. It's hard to pick a favorite. I love the acid drop, which was that one with the sour, but this one with the mojito, what was this called? The, that's the patient, patient puke. puke. Patient puke, that is delicious. They're all good, that one's really good. So the menu is pretty awesome. One of the cool things about it is when we looked at how we were gonna design the menu, not only did we have, we have our world-class venue, we also have a world-class sponsor, Rockstar, which Rockstar. is pretty awesome. And everything was designed by local mixologists from Kave Cafe, and so we really tried to make this feel like a really intimate experience. So they helped us do that. So now we're going back into the graveyard, now that it is dark, so you can get like the full effect. Yeah, this is sick, and you were saying all the hand sanitizer around yeah. the place. So all of our skellies have sanitizer to make sure for people that need it or want it or want to drink it, hopefully not. <laughs> now you can actually see the projection on the side of the building. Got the schedule right there. If you take a screenshot, it'll last longer. Also, there'll be a link in the description below with all the details. We'll go over that. There's the projection booth projecting the image out on the screen. That's so cool. Wow, I can only imagine how long it took and how they painted that up there. It took us a whole summer. A whole summer to paint that. Yeah, one of the cool things about most of our murals 
is that, in fact, this entire mural was done by a street artist, literally with cans of paint and just tips. And so they were up there in booms, but we really try and use local talent wherever we can. One of our buses that you're gonna see in just a second, also done talent, local. Okay, and most of our murals Love that. were done. So we try and do local wherever we can. Oh yeah, this is totally better at night. Look at that. Wow. Really comes alive out here. Super cool. Love this bloody seat. Okay, so we're, we're back up in the makeup room. We are. We're back upstairs. So before you leave, you can't leave without gifts. This is important. So um, if you remember in merch, you saw these earlier. So um, so we, you and I obviously have these really cool green jackets. And this, of course, <laughs> is my chai. Did not that. There's your chai. Yep. Look, you got your little chai there. So this is, we're going to give you this as well. And then Carl said that you were absolutely awesome. He wants you to also have Here's a doll. Carl. And you look, he's even got his little keys. Oh, Chris pretty the, awesome. Chris the girl's gonna love this. Love it. And then we're gonna <laughs> hook you up with um, one of our really cool designs. Yeah, I like that one. It's pretty awesome. So thanks so much for being here. Thanks for Get having for me, some Spencer. Swag. Totally. This is so nice of you. Yeah. Just to go through the haunt alone, but that's a bonus. And also, he made me a chai. Gotta have chai. <laughs> It's good too. Cheers. 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 Dude, there's literally a train right there. Conductor, come on down. He's getting out. You hope there's not a body on the track. Oh no. Stopped right there, right in front of the Fear Factory. <laughs> Incredible night. Make sure you check out the website in the description below for all the finer details. Every weekend until Halloween. I think they might be going the weekend after Halloween as well. Carl, is that you? Oh boy. Something happened. Okay, Fear Factory, Salt Lake City, Utah in the books. I want to thank everyone for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed this preview. If you want to come out to Fear Factory yourself, if you think you could make it through that tower, do it. Check it out. You won't regret it. That was scary. That was so scary. And I want to thank Carl our tour guide through that. That was a cool experience. I didn't know that was gonna happen. That was, a, that was a sweet surprise. Carl taking us through the haunt. That was a cool, unique experience. That doesn't always happen, so I'm glad it happened to us. Thanks for joining us vicariously, my friends. If you enjoy haunted houses, I hope you enjoyed that one, because I did. It's one of my favorites. Oh yeah, nothing like it. Nothing like this I've ever done. If you enjoyed this video and it's your first time here, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Actually, please give it a thumbs up. It, it helps. It helps the video. It helps promote the haunt. If you give it a thumbs up, that, that's a really good thing. So I appreciate that. And also, if it's your first time, subscribe below if you like haunted houses. Again, this is like my 17th haunt. So check out some of my haunts I've already done on my playlist. And I've got much ahead as I always say so I'm gonna wrap this up I got to get back to the hotel I've got to get up very early catch a plane back to Tampa I got to work my regular job uh, tomorrow it's all worked out it's been worked out for months I planned haunt season way back when it's like February it's crazy so grateful for these opportunities I've had to be able to share and you guys watching that makes it the best wouldn't be the same without you okay Know you're awesome, know you're loved, and no matter who you are, what you're going through, just know there's always much ahead. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Fear Factory. All right, we're heading out of here. It looks like the train has been stopped this whole entire time. Oh, wow. I've got to figure out how not to go right here. I want to thank Rob, Heidi, Carl, and Spencer. Thanks for having me at the factory tonight. All right, guys. Gotta get some food. Get back to the hotel. Thanks for watching. See you next time. See you tomorrow.